this vehicle right here is called the ZE Cargo Copter by Erin Wind, and to be honest, it is very, very small. It's kind of odd. Anyway, apparently this can carry three of those containers. So we've got some pink ones down there. We're going to pick up that pink one, this pink one, and this pink one with this thing. No idea how that's going to go, but let's get to it. Alright, so first things first, let's go ahead and land on the first one, just here. And, uh, I guess we'll see if we can connect straight to it. The thing is, uh, underneath this, it actually has a winch connector. Like, like, just a winch. And you can't connect a winch to multiple things. And unfortunately, when you're lifting these up, it is four of these. So, I don't know how this is gonna work. Uh, max load, 4,200. If I connect this to here... We won't be able to connect any others. Unless I'm missing something, let's go ahead and grab this anyway, and we'll see if we can attach it on. Uh, but I highly doubt it, so... Yeah, max load. Yeah, I can't connect anything else to that. I don't know what we're supposed to do in this situation. I'm gonna go ahead and modify this, uh, which is maybe not the best thing in the world to do. I'm gonna delete that, I'm gonna shove this guy into here like this, and we're actually just gonna add a rope connector to the bottom. There, just like that. It might seem a little bit strange, but I think it's going to work for the best. Alright, so now that I've changed it to a rope, it is actually working fine. I just need two more ropes, we'll connect it to there and to the front on each side. We'll then lift this up, we'll try and drop it straight onto the top of that one and lift that up. And then drop it on the top of that one and lift that up too. That's crazy. If this can do that, that's amazing. Okay, we are all connected. Let's go ahead and get in and lift, I guess. Let's see how this goes. Come on, get it off the ground. Okay. One container in the air, just like that. I changed the physics detail to high by accident, and um, it went a little bit crazy. I'm not going to lie to you guys. Um, but let's go ahead and try and swing this around so that we can actually maybe connect it to the other ones. Unfortunately, I have put it at quite the angle here. It's not great. It's not great whatsoever. Twisting it's not really going to happen either. But you know, if I lower it down and we connect one spot on, we might be able to just move it around to the others. So keep lowering it down, and uh, eventually it will connect. I hope. <laughs> I actually have no idea. Come on, lower it down. Lower it down a little bit more. Little bit more. Yes, 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 nice. They're all connected. And it can lift them as well. That is bizarre. I've sort of broken the bottom one by accident, but that's okay. Let's now move on to the last one, this last pink container, and see if we can pick that up too. There it is. Apparently this thing can be remote controlled as well, in case you need it to be. And also apparently it's extremely fuel efficient. Look at that. That's bizarre. Alright, so I want to connect uh, one of these on again, and let's see if we can connect all of them to it at the same time. Here we go. Keep lowering down. It has a slow mode, which actually seems to be very, very useful. Keep lowering. It seems like we're in, like, a very good place for this, actually. Lowering seems to be bouncing it, though. Which is not what you want. Not really. Alright, we've connected one. Awesome. Try and push it forward so it connects the rest. There we go! We got three containers connected. This is insane! It's only like a tiny quadcopter. How is it doing this? Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and try something a little bit different. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put it into forward mode. Right? And we're going to try and go forwards. And we're actually going to turn off slow mode as well. Oh boy. How is this actually working? No, that's, that's criminal. How have they built something like this? Look at it, it's just going for it. Doesn't even care that there's so much weight below it, it's just flying. That's amazing. So yeah, it actually does work. The thing is though, obviously with a winch down there, it didn't want to work because you can't attach multiple ropes to a single winch, but once we changed it, I guess it works fine. I don't know whether there's a trick to that, I have no idea, but um, yeah, once we changed it, it's okay. Uh, whoa! I turned the engine off. I accidentally turned the engine off. How is it going to deal with this? Oh, yeah. That, oh, and I died. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> 
I didn't realize these containers floated like this, but apparently they do. But there's our little uh, quadcopter down there, obviously feeling very sorry for itself. Uh, there was a button where you can actually detach the ropes, uh, but unfortunately I, I pressed I pressed a different button. Not that that one would have worked anyway because I deleted the winch. But yeah, I don't know, that's really cool. I'm going to link that down below if you guys want to check it out. And um, yeah, sorry this is a very, very, very short video, but I guess I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.